Master, and if I'm not your favorite Scum Master yet, don't worry about it because I will become <laughs> your favorite. Okay, so thank I just wanted to talk through today um, why you should become a Scum Master, right? I'm not here to tell you what to do, I'm here to provide information. On, let's look through into why this position is really uh, favorable to have. All right, remote work. Remote work, remote work. Everybody wants to work from home. I've been working from home for the past three years, even before COVID started. Now, listen, you can work remote or you also can do a hybrid. Some companies right now are going back to the office. You can decide what is your preference. Is that something you want? Is that something you like? Then go for it, okay? The only thing with that is that you would just need to make that decision for yourself, but I'm just saying that remote work is an option. You can work remote anywhere you want. Just let your manager or the company knows that you'll be traveling and you can travel and work. Like nobody's telling you that you're hostage. I have some students who actually are traveling and working and because their company is international, they get that flexibility to do that. So definitely don't um, limit yourself to just hybrid. Okay. The other thing is flexibility. I have tons of flexibility within my day. Um, yes, there's some standing meetings that are on the calendar. I have two teams, but when I'm not working, I do have flexibility for personal development. As you can tell, I have grown significantly from when I started this role because I have been leveraging those th that time gap that I have in my calendar to personal develop on me, to focus on the areas that I need in order for me the most impactful and effective to the people that I work with. The other thing I will highlight here, you will, you are an change agent, right? So the only difference with this role is that in this particular role of being a change agent, you can influence people, right? You can influence people without having authority. What do I mean by that? It means that you can, this is not the military where command and control is a, is a thing there, right? You do what I say, or you will be punished for it, or there'll be consequences for it, right? For better, lack of term, for better word. So here is, you would just need to build relationship enough to get people to do what you would like them to do, right? And there can be times where your team members don't agree with your idea, and that's completely fine. It's just a suggestion. It doesn't mean that they have to take the suggestion that you're providing for them. Even if you know it is the best for them, until they find a problem for their solution or they find a reason to um, work with your idea to them, that's just your idea. Okay, so you have an opportunity to be a change agent to enforce and help the team to be able to uh, agility mindset. All right. The other thing is you can get to teach, right? You can teach people, you can become a consultant, you can have your own company, you're sharing your expertise, right? You can provide services for people um, and you can charge them for that. The one big thing that I will say a caveat to this is that you just need to let your company know that this is part of your outside activity that you're doing. Like for me, for instance, I do teach people, I do teach Scrum Masters or new or transitioning Scrum Masters that want to become Scrum Masters, right? My company is well aware of that. It's not interfering with my work. I don't take anything booking on my calendar until after 5 p.m. Eastern time, just because I just appreciate that transparency. I don't want to bridge work and personal stuff. I give the time that I'm getting paid for and I focus on my time after work, okay? So you just need to deviate to that. I think this is important. I think you can do it if that's something that you're interested in doing. Number five, I would say money, 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 money. Money. Okay, who doesn't like money? I love money. I know you like money too, all right? So you have a chance to make six figures here. And this six figures also comes with your level of expertise and experience, of course. 
right? I don't think if you go and take your two-day course and boom, you put your application there, you're going to make six figures. That's not, there's a process to it, right? So however, you have an opportunity to have financial um, independence and also be able to do the things that you want to do to take care of your family and whatever nitty gritty thing that you need regarding um, money, right? That number five, I think it's important, um, but don't make that your only reason, right? You have to have a deeper reason for that. The other number six I would dive into is job security. As long as you're going to need software developers, I personally believe that you're going to need Scrum Masters. Why? We're unique individuals. We have uniqueness that is incomparable. Like, yes, I know sometimes some of the things that we do are, are intangible to we cannot always show, oh, we're keeping retention in the company. Oh, we're, we're making this impact, right? But it speaks for itself because our teams are able to work collaboratively to bring value and create an impact for that company. If there was no Scrum Master in some of the teams that I've been on, listen, I don't know how they'll be working. Or, I don't know. But I'm just saying that don't worry, there's always gonna be job security, especially now that everything is going into the cloud. Everything is in the cloud. So for me, these are the top six reasons that I think you should become a Scrum Master. If this not, if it's not good enough for you, well, hey, I tried. I have provided the information. Now you can make the decision. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share with your people, okay? Knowledge, I believe, if you take the right action, is power. So let's go ahead and empower others to be able to get this information. Oh, you like what I did there? Yeah, I know you did. All right. <laughs> I know I'm becoming your favorite. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one.